What if we could coexist with nature without causing harm? This thought led to the birth of a revolutionary concept, arcology. This groundbreaking idea was first conceived by the visionary architect Paolo Soleri in the year 1969. Imagine a world where architecture and ecology blend seamlessly to create densely populated yet minimally invasive human habitats. These aren't just your average skyscrapers or city blocks. These are self-sustaining structures designed to accommodate residential, commercial and agricultural facilities, all while causing the least possible disruption to the environment. The aim? To create a world where human progress doesn't come at the cost of Mother Nature, a world where we can thrive without leaving a destructive footprint behind. While it might sound like a concept from a sci-fi novel, there have been attempts to bring arcology into reality. Arcology isn't just a concept on paper, it has taken physical form in experimental prototypes. Take Arcosanti, for example. Nestled in the arid desert of Arizona, this experimental town is a living testament to the principles of arcology. Conceived by the visionary architect Paolo Soleri, Arcosanti is designed to harmonize architecture and ecology. It's a dense, compact city that aims to minimize environmental impact while maximizing human interaction and accessibility. Every building within Arcosanti is multifunctional, housing residential, commercial and agricultural facilities. The city layout encourages residents to walk, reducing the reliance on motor vehicles and subsequently reducing carbon emissions. It's an ongoing experiment, a glimpse into a future where cities are not just sustainable but self-sustaining. But the principles of arcology have inspired more than just Arcosanti. Let's jet across the globe to Dongtan, near Shanghai. Planned as a zero-emission city, Dongtan is another bold step towards realizing the dream of arcology. It's designed to be self-sufficient, producing its own clean energy and growing its own food. It's a city that doesn't just limit its environmental footprint, but aims to leave no footprint at all. And then, there's McMurdo Station in Antarctica, an outpost on the edge of the world. This remote research station is not just surviving in one of the harshest environments on Earth, but thriving. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring principles of arcology. It's a place where every resource is carefully managed, every building is energy efficient, and every decision is made with sustainability in mind. While these projects are not perfect, they are steps towards a sustainable future. Each of these projects, from Arcosanti to Dongtan to McMurdo Station, represents a beacon of hope. They are tangible proof that the principles of arcology can be applied in the real world, that we can craft cities that are not just places to live, but places that live in harmony with nature. Arcology has not just inspired architects and environmentalists, it has also sparked the imagination of writers and filmmakers. The concept of arcology has etched its mark in popular culture, making its way into the intricate world of science fiction. It's an idea that captivates the mind, a vision of a utopian future where mankind has mastered the art of sustainable living. These self-sustaining megastructures, providing residential, commercial and agricultural facilities, all while minimizing environmental impact, seem like the perfect solution for an overpopulated, resource-drained future Earth. From the pages of novels to the screens of cinemas, arcologies have been depicted as towering edifices of hope, a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. They're often portrayed as the embodiment of harmony between humanity and nature, the epitome of eco-conscious living. But, as with any concept, the portrayal of arcologies in fiction varies. Some narratives paint arcologies as utopian paradises, while others depict them as dystopian warnings, underscoring the potential pitfalls of such grandiose designs. While arcology in fiction paints a hopeful picture, the reality is a bit more complex. So, what does the future hold for arcology? As we gaze into the horizon, we see a world where arcology could be the answer to many of our environmental and urban living challenges. But the path to this future isn't without its hurdles. Technological advancements are a must, as we need to develop more efficient ways to create these self-sustaining habitats. Financially, the cost of building large-scale arcologies is a significant barrier, requiring substantial investment and economic support. Socially, we face the task of shifting perspectives, encouraging people to embrace the idea of living in densely populated, yet environmentally conscious habitats. Despite these challenges, the end goal of arcology remains a beacon of hope, a world where residential, commercial and agricultural facilities coexist seamlessly, 
minimizing our environmental impact, and creating a sustainable way of life. The journey towards our ecology might be long and challenging, but it is a journey worth taking for a sustainable future.